Hi everyone! Today we're going to work through creating a new shape using a couple new tools. We're going to go through extruding and sketching just like before, but we're going to add in our fillet tool um, and our tapered extrusion. So to start, we're going to make a new file. So I've just added a new design or a blank one when you open it up. And we're going to start by creating a new sketch and we're gonna place it on our top plane. Okay, so this is our flat top plane. It looks just like the one on our view cube. I'm gonna choose that. We're gonna create a rectangle, our two point rectangle. We're just gonna start it from our origin. I'm gonna bring our cursor up and this is going to be 50 millimeters on one side and 50 millimeters on the other. So as a reminder, we're hitting tab to switch between the two. We're going to hit enter. From here, we're going to use one of our new, newer tools that we haven't used yet, one of our modification tools, which is the fillet. So this fillet curves the corners of different shapes. So we're going to click on our fillet tool and we're going to just bring our cursor over here. And if we click on the corner, if you see, it'll give a red example of what it'll look like. We're going to leave it at the default 10 millimeters and we're going to just come around and click through all of our corners. If it gives you your warning, it's upset about our sizes, that's okay. For the sake of just getting our general shape down, that's fine for right now. So we have a rectangle with a fillet on every corner. We're gonna finish our sketch and we are going to extrude. So remember, since it only has one shape, it's gonna automatically select that profile, All right? We want our taper angle to be negative 45. I'll show you something about that in a second, All right? And then our distance as we drag this up, okay? Truly depends on what our taper angle was. So in this case, since we've chosen our negative 45 degree taper angle, the height does not change until you get past this 25 point. So it needs to be at least 25, maybe more, but not less. Okay, so if we see our little shape, if we start to see the bottom shape and it tapers up. If we change this value, let's say we wanted this to be back to zero, all right, we see the original shape just extruded. You can mess around with this by grabbing the little dot above our extrusion and moving that around. But we're just going to come back here and we're going to put it back at negative 45 degrees and we're going to hit OK. So currently now we've used fillet in a sketch, but you can actually use fillet in 3D as well. So we're going to come up here to our modify panel and we're going to choose fillet. So our fillet for 3D, I'm gonna come up to my view cube and hit the home view, all right? And then actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn this a little more so we can see mostly the top. All right, and what we wanna do is we wanna click the four corners, the four edges that go all the way up to the point of our curved pyramid shape. And this, we're gonna put five millimeters. We choose five. If you see, it'll start to round out all of these corners. We don't need to worry about any of these other settings for right now, and we're gonna hit okay. So if we come up back to our view cube, we can choose our little house and see our home view. If you wanna move it around to just kinda of get an idea, we can, again, remember if you wanna pan, you can click on your mouse wheel. If you want to orbit, we can actually hold the shift key and then click our mouse wheel and hold it, and that'll let you rotate all around. So you're gonna get an idea of what this looks like. All right, our very last step for this one is we do want to practice creating section views. So we're gonna kind of cut this into a half um, without actually cutting the whole thing in half, where it'll show you the inside without really actually removing the piece. So we're gonna come up to our inspect panel here. We're gonna open our drop down menu for inspect and we're going to choose our section analysis. So when we talked about drawings, um, there was a type of drawing 
that we have not yet done. Um, but our section drawings would be basically the internal portion, like a cutoff, um, a cross section. So we're going to click on here. And what we want to do is since our object is the same for both our right and our front planes, we can use either of these. Okay. But when you choose it, if you notice, your object disappears because we made it up the origin. But if you grab your little arrow, you can move it front and back and slice through our object at different stages. But we wanted completely halfway through our object. So if we remember, our object was 50. Oops, 50 gets us right to the edge. So you could either drag it across to 25 or in our little box down here, you can type 25 and hit OK. So now when we orbit and look around this shape, it looks like it's been sliced in half. But if you see these diagonal lines that are in the center, like on that edge that would have been cut, that's representing the cut surface. For right now, this is going to be it for our shape. We've talked about tapered extrusions, we've talked about fillet in 2D and in 3D, and we've talked about our section views. Alright, until the next one!